listeners and subscribers, how's it going? So isn't this the core of political theater, right? All I've heard about uh, since after the State of the Union was all the ways that they were able to make this some um, um, political political jargon and rhetoric that's heated up debate and they were looking at the symbolism and, and what they were wearing and what they were clapping, when they were clapping and why they were clapping, right? All this 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 stuff to make things more divisive and it's been it's interesting because even in the alternative communities they've been covering this right this clap back and uh pelosi's approval or disapproval you know with looking at how whether she was smiling or smirking or clapping or standing and it's it's very interesting because this reminds me the same thing that happened with john boehner and obama okay it's it's like the same thing because boehner was feuding with obama i, I mean the, these two were at an impasse um they you know analyzed all his micro expressions now let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and play this and creating jobs at the fastest pace since 1999 More of our kids are graduating than ever before for all the grit and hard work required to come back. For all the tasks that lie ahead, know this, the shadow of crisis has passed and the state of the union is strong. <laughs> As the crisis worsened, Ben's business dried up, so he took what jobs he could find. Today we have new tools to stop taxpayer-funded bailouts, and a new so consumer. I'm, it there. I'm not going to play the whole thing. That's bad for him. You saw him fixing his tie there. I think you saw the clip where Nancy Pelosi was fixing her hair. I mean, they have this thing smack down, repackaged BS. And look, if you don't believe me, right? Um, you remember when Pelosi was going to disinvite Trump to the state of, from the State of the Union speech, and she did. Okay, that same rhetoric was being touted back then. Okay, look, Boehner asked to skip Obama's uh, State of the Union invite. Right? Let's play this. Some Republicans have been saying we're so mad at the president, don't invite him up to Congress. Don't invite him up to give his State of the right. Union address. Now, seems a little petty, right? Well, we do that in Washington every now and then. But Speaker John Boehner was asked yesterday, would you do that? Would you not invite the president to address the nation from the House chamber? And the speaker, trying to show off his sense of humor here, says, no way. He wants the president to come. The more the president talks about his ideas, the more unpopular he becomes. Why would I want to deprive him of that opportunity? <laughs> Now, it is funny. Okay, so and they we were like highlighting politics, some of the division but there. But to listen to what this reporter has to say towards the end here. Let's see if I can get it. From the White House perspective, they just think, you know, just it's been political ping pong since the election. Yeah, it has. And they're going to keep talking about things like tax reform and infrastructure spending and trade deals, areas where you might see some compromise. But tax reform infrastructure spending okay tax reform is something that's always there right but um they've been talking about it a lot under the trump administration okay this is just from february 6 two days ago um there's your you know and this is just an opinion piece here they ta tax reform has been touted in the media okay we also have well 61 words on uh, infrastructure okay uh they also have been talking about trade well haven't we been going what's been going on with you know the trade war with china these are the same undertones that's been that happened in that that speech was in 2015 when the meet when the media and alternative media was analyzing you know john boehner's expressions and what he was doing and when he was clapping and when he wasn't clapping uh it's just it's it's the same thing and this is what this political theater is designed to do to keep people in this left right system where they're fighting over stuff they don't even recognize i mean they have i don't know if it's a short memory or what but just going back in time and seeing that there, you know, Nancy Pelosi, to, you know, the, the, disin the disinvitation, you know, the same rhetoric there. And then afterwards, people analyzing this stuff and even in the alternative media and then the same thing. So, I mean, this is this is stuff. This is par for the course. And it's very interesting The you know, I find everything interesting. Right. I always say that. Uh, that these parallel this parallels with something else that I'm going to get into because I've been talking a lot about you know the conspiracy theories that have been touted by QAnon and you know people have different beliefs of what QAnon is QAnon they think is either a you know AI an individual or a group of individuals okay that's artificial intelligence um, a single individual or a group of individuals um, the there's many schools of thought on that but you know that 
QAnon line of thinking has entered conservative circles, conservative mainstream circles, okay, not the conspiratorial ones, or not just the conspiratorial ones, what people would categorize as that. At least when you hear CNN's news coverage of QAnon, that's the things that you see there, uh, you know, uh, right-wing fringe conspiracy theory, I believe is the words that were touted. I'll leave a link in the description, but it's starting to permeate. And the flip-flop we've seen in the mindsets of not only people who follow um, things in just the political optics, right, but also people who follow things um, outside of those realms to be, you know, falling for this, this rhetoric we see here it's the same repackaged material I, and I, I don't know if, if that's not enough evidence for you <laughs> you know um maybe there's something else going on there i just wanted to wrap that up i just wanted to make a few um uh notes there um make a few mentions about <laughs> you know these parallels is absolutely incredible the disinvitation you know 2015 because uh, this is i'm going to go into a line of thinking that um, at least in the alternative circles where they're talking about the coup d'etat that's supposed to happen with Trump and this power grab. And I've been talking about it in a couple of videos on my channel, so I plan on getting deeper into that. Uh, anyway, take care of yourselves out there.